Hey guys, it's your good old buddy KB Giants fan here, and uh, uh oh, better watch out for the deadly pinwheel. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is one of the easiest boss battles in the entire game, and he's actually the whole entire reason we came down to the catacombs right now to begin with. Now, there's there's probably going to be a couple more uh, of those uh, bone wheel skeletons around here, and I'm pretty sure you can hear in the background. I don't know if you can or not the uh, the pounding of the blacksmith. He's a skeleton blacksmith, and uh, like I said, we will, when we come back down here to uh, take out Grave Lord Nito later in the game, I'll show you where he is. It'll also show you where the uh, the bonfire we missed is. And just 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 of note, if you're going to explore around there to try to find that blacksmith, kill all the bone meal skeletons because they can actually get into his area and attack him, and it, you could get screwed. So. <laughs> Anyway, head through the boss fog, and this is where Pinwheel is. Just hop on down here and get your great fireball out. Now, this guy is not really any big deal at all. You do want to watch out for his attack, though. I believe he's got... I've never been hit by it, but I've heard that he's got a one-hit kill move. So just kind of avoid his attacks, and he's going to spit out a bunch of clones. And they're going to fly around all around the room. And just kind of... I think one stick with the spear should uh, take out his clones. And when you get a bead on which is the real pinwheel, whichever one is, either hit him with your spear or throw a fireball at him. And I, it, it should not take much. I think I make the mistake here of throwing fireballs at the wrong one a couple of times. This takes a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So, yeah, watch out for those things. I've heard they can kill you. I'm not positive, though, because it's never really happened to me. See, I missed... I don't know what's happening here, dude. I'm not hitting the real pinwheel with my fireball, and I freaking wasted two of them. There we go. Look at how much health it took off. Dude, he barely has any health as it is anyway. So I missed with my freaking giant fireballs that I saved the whole way through the catacombs to get to this guy. And I keep missing the real pinwheel. And at this point, I'm like, dude, what am I doing wrong here? I've never had this battle last longer than about 15 seconds that I could ever remember. So at some point here, I'm like, alright, screw this. I'm going to get the spear out. And I'm going to start wiping out the fake ones. Oh, jeez, I got hit, dude. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> so there we go. I'm taking out all the fake ones, and now, you know what, now that I've got fire orb, or, yeah, my fire orb out, I'm running out of fire orbs, too, and I'm like, this is getting really annoying, so it's time just to start stabbing at them, and I'm going to find the real one, and I'm just going to finish them off with great combustion when I find the real one. So that's basically what you want to do. It really shouldn't have taken me this long at all. I think that's the real one right now. Yep, I found him. So I'm just going to stick him a few times with the spear. Make sure it's him. Get great combustion now. And F. Combustion. Great combustion. Doesn't matter. Just finish him off. One more shot should have him. And boom. Good night, Pinwheel. Now, for defeating Pinwheel, we just got the Rite of Kindling. Which is one of the most amazing items in the game. We are now able to uh, kindle up every single bonfire a maximum of two more times. So you can kindle each one a maximum of three times. Now, and that's going to take a lot of humanity, but it's well worth it, because we're now going to get the uh, 20 Estus flasks. Yeah, you heard me right. 20 Estus flasks. If you fully kindle the bonfires, you get 20 of them. So, I'm going to show you that right now real quick. Since we're, you know what, I'm just down here thinking of hitting up the next bonfire. I'm like, you know what, there's no reason to even do that at all. Let's just, uh, we'll come back here later when we have to take out Nito. This is where Nito is, Gravelord Nito. So, I'm going to use a homeward bone and warp back to Firelink, and I'm going to uh, kindle up the Firelink bonfire uh, to its max. And they look pretty cool when they're totally kindled up, too. And uh, 20 SS flasks, that helps a lot. I was going to do it to this one here because I've got the two, uh, two humanities on me right now. But I was like, you know what, dude, I'm just going to repair my equipment and head back to Firelink real quick. Because what I really suggest you guys do now is tra traverse around the world, especially especially if you're considering playing New Game Plus. Now, I know I mentioned earlier that I'm going to I'm gonna do a few videos on New Game Plus after we've gotten through this game, just to kind of clear up some loose ends and uh, kind of explain a, a couple of uh, cool features of New Game Plus. So uh, maybe hit up a couple of covenants we never did. But uh, what we're going to do now is I really suggest you travel around the world and hit up every single bonfire and... Don't max kindle it for the 20 SS flasks because they will stay kindled even on New Game Plus. Every bonfire you kindled up all the way to the max will stay kindled and then it'll just uh, make your New Game Plus a hell of a lot easier. So, 
I'm going to put up a, a real short and quick video right after this on uh, how to farm humanity, since we're going to need a hell of a lot of humanity to kindle all these bonfires. So, <laughs> be on the lookout for that, um, for the uh, humanity farming video. And if you don't want to bother farming with humanity, I will uh, pick up the next video. The next video is going to be down the depths. So if you want to go into the depths, at the first bonfire in the depths, go ahead and meet me there and I'll show you how to farm some humanity. If not, go ahead and hang out here because from here we're going to travel on to uh, the next area we're going to uh, have to deal with. So peace out guys.